so guys welcome to how in avigos today once again we are back with new concept that is how to name your initial and final courses of gc that's your grade circle most of the cases everyone will be having doubt to name your initial and final courses you will be easily able to solve your spherical triangle of gc and you will be in doubt how to name your initial and final courses we will be discussing about in this video how to name initial and final courses so let us consider it in two cases there will be one as your north pole case and another as your south pole case and each case you have two different cases that will be easterly and westerly courses so let us look into it so we will be taking north pole as first case and you have main node that is while deciding your course this is very important so it's ship's course is from north meridian to ship's heading that means ship's course is always measured from your north meridian meridian from your position going toward north pole and your ship's heading and always north meridian is your zero reference and the course is always in clockwise direction these things should be in your mind so let us solve this thing today so suppose you have initially you have an in easterly course from a to b you solve this spherical triangle you found the value of a you found the value of b so we now we need to find what is initial and final course so suppose we are going today your ship initially will be heading like this this will be your ship always draw your ship on your gc track and finally your ship will be this way heading this way so we need to find what is the course course is always as i said in your north it's from your north meridian to your ship's head that will be like this finally the same it is from ship's north meridian this is your north meridian to your ship's head so this will be your final course so in this case we found the initial course will be initial course is equal to same as a you found the a you see at this it will be the same as your angle a in this case you know angle b and you know this is a straight line so the angle will be 180 and your course is this blue line that's your final course so your final course will be from the diagram you can easily determine as your final course will be 180 minus b so we are done with this 180 minus b now let us move into westerly case if you see the diagram you're traveling from a to b and you need to draw your ship first this should be your first move for solving these types of questions draw your ship at a so you have your heading like this and finally your ship will be heading like this so as we discussed your course will be always from your meridian in this case this is your meridian north and ship's head is this way and it's always clockwise that means this will be your initial course this blue line and your final course will be from meridian to ship's head that will be from here to ship's head this will be your final course so from the diagram we can say initial course will be you know angle a and you know the whole will be 360 so this will be 360 minus a and your final course will be see the diagram you know angle b and you know this a b this will be continuing this is a 180 degree this angle from here till here and it's b so the angle will be 180 plus b so we are done with this so these are the two cases of north pole now let us go into south pole case that is a little confusing and important first thing in these two cases we have an easterly course and an westerly course from a to b and here from a to b you solve the spherical triangle you found the value of a and b then is what you will be going to decide what is initial course and final course so let us do our job first thing what you need to do on this will be you know a meridian will be passing through any point will be meeting at south pole as well as it will be extending somewhere up you will be meeting at another point also at your north pole that means from this point be heading like this 
and from B also it will be going somewhere and meeting at your North Pole. Similarly, in this case also, this B meridian will be going up and this A also going up and meeting at a point that will be your North Pole. This what I did was for this important node, the ship's course is always from your North meridian. That means a meridian from your position towards North. That will be your zero reference to your ship's head and always clockwise. So now let us do our next step. That is nothing. You will be drawing your ship. Initially your ship will be this way in case A. And your ship will be this way. And finally. So as we discussed, a ship's course is always from north meridian to ship's head back to clockwise. That means like this, this red one will be your initial course. Final course will also be the same from north meridian to ship's head. That means this angle. So let's write the initial course will be, you know, angle A and you know this angle, this is the same line. So the angle, total angle between the line will be 180, you know, A. So it will be 180 minus A. And your final course will be, see the diagram. You have angle B and you see, if you see at this diagram, you are, this angle B and will be the same as this. This means these angles are diametrically opposite. So that means your final course will be same as B. That's opposite angles. So we are done with them. Now let us proceed into westerly case. You already have your North Pole traveling from A to B. Let's draw our ships. We have our ships this way. You will be traveling. Your ship will be initially this direction, this heading, and finally your ship will be heading like this, this way. So as we discussed, your course is always from see the north, north meridian to ship's head clockwise this direction. Finally, also from North Meridian to ship's head, this way. This blue line indicate your initial course and final course. If you draw your diagram like this, you will never get confused about the courses. So you let decide initial course from the diagram. You know angle A and you know this is a straight line, same meridian. So the angle will be 180 from here till here. And you know A, so it will be 180 plus A. And for the final course, for the final course, you know, from meridian to ship's head, you know, angle B. In this case, what you need to know is this will be same as this angle that is diametrically opposite B. That means we know whole will be 360 and we know this short angle that is same as B because they are all diametrically opposite. So your final course will be nothing but 360 minus B opposite so this is how you get the values of your final course so this is how you name your initial and final courses i hope you guys understood if you have any doubts put in comments we will get to you this is ahoy navigo signing off thank you